Uh, my name is Johan Koinek. I'm from the Green Tech Cluster in Austria. I'm project manager here. And I was so invited to talk to you about uh, our cluster, our cluster activities, and especially about um, our uh, cluster activities when it comes to hydrogen. Uh, thanks for an inv invitation, Energy Press, and also thanks to Advantage Austria Athens, which made it possible that we were invited here. Uh, well, my presentation will be a little bit less technical as the previous one, I guess. I do not speak Greek, however, uh, but as I will uh, talk a little bit more about our activities in Austria, which are an invitation for you, uh, especially to have a look also after my presentation to the Hydrogen Research Map Austria, and also to check if uh, we have interesting uh, potential cooperation partners for you in terms of hydrogen. So this is my agenda. Uh, first, a little bit about our company and about the Green Tech Valley, which we call our region in the south of Austria uh, in terms of Green Tech, and then a few specific services of our cluster, uh, which we did uh, in the hydrogen context. So to give you a picture about our organization, um, we are a company limited based in Austria, established in 2005. We are 11 people uh, and with our 250 cluster partners, companies uh, and research facilities, we represent and uh, work uh, regarding innovation in our area in Austria. Um, to give you a picture, the second uh, uh, person from the right in this picture, this is me. Um, uh, and our, our, our um, clear goal is to develop future technology uh, and in the cluster green future grows together. Okay, um, what, we, what uh, do we do as a cluster? Maybe the concept of a cluster is not known to uh, every one of you. Uh, in our case, it is, uh, there are three pillars. So as a cluster, we are a networking organization. Uh, in particular, this means we are organizing, uh, especially for example, a collaboration between startups and uh, established companies. Uh, for example, we are also doing a hackathon. Um, uh, uh, in the course of our activities. We are um, issuing a trend radars on certain topics. We are organizing working groups and, for example, also company visits uh, to get to know each other. Uh, in the field of growth, uh, we provide our cluster partners with uh, orientation, like with how to use the European Green Deal, like to give orientation about funding possibilities, organizing technology days, and what you see in the middle, uh, it is, uh, this map, we are also part of an international clean tech network where international clusters are working together to extend the chances for their, for their respective companies and also to work in projects together. And most importantly, it's about innovation. So we are organizing innovation workshops. Uh, we are also uh, supporting our members with um, uh, with uh, innovation tools uh, developed also one by yourself and have certain specific events uh, all with the goal to bring the right people together um, uh, and, and, and form consortia, for example, for new projects. Uh, I was mentioning green, the Green Tech Valley. This is very important for us from a marketing perspective. We in the south of Austria are the Green Tech Valley and we are a hotspot for climate and circular solutions. And this is also our vision with our 250 uh, companies and research facilities that we uh, create a future with uh, as less as possible greenhouse gases and as less as possible waste. Um, and this is these are also our focus areas. And there we are working um, on topics like uh, heating, uh, green gas and hydrogen, uh, topics like energy districts, uh, digitalization of value chains of the recycling indu industries uh, and the like. And last slide for the company introduction. I invite you uh, especially also to follow this link um, from our 250 cluster partners. 
we have a solution platform where there are more than 600 uh, solutions are listed. So if you have specific challenges uh, or if you are in the search for uh, project partners in, a, in an international uh, level, there you have the possibility uh, to search uh, regarding your challenges, find the right solutions. And via that solutions, you then are able uh, to find the, 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 the company or the research facility. And I stay at your proposal or also other people of our team, uh, if you contact us, then to establish the contact. So let's have a closer look to uh, some specific services uh, in terms of hydrogen. Uh, I was mentioning um, uh, uh, our so-called innovation radars, our green tech radars. Uh, this is an informational brochure which we are issuing um, several times a year on different topics, uh, topics in the field of energy, topics in the field of resource or recycling technologies. Um, quite recently, we also did one green tech radar uh, in the field of green hydrogen. I would like to give you a short uh, picture of how this, this brochure or, or a part of the brochure looks like. Um, regarding this brochure, it's also important to know we as a class organization, we are a service provider and we are quite humble uh, when we say that we are not uh, able to work on all these topics we are work working in, in, in depth. So we search for, uh, of course, uh, for the right uh, cooperation partners and this research, uh, this um, this uh, informational brochure we did with the High Center. This is a competence center based at the Technical University of Graz, which is dealing with uh, hydrogen research. And in this green tech radar, we give a forecast of market potentials uh, of uh, different hydrogen technologies and applications. And we look at that, um, looking at the specific sectors and the usage uh, for the hydrogen. So. The, the basic of the of the brochure is the the future radar, which shows then which technologies are av available already today, uh, which technologies will be available in the next years, uh, in the different sectors: mobility, uh, storage and distribution, uh, also at the energy sector, industry, for example and with uh, specific indications this is the the size of the dots and also the colors of the dots uh, we show from the expert perspective how big the market potential is and also how we see the probability of uh, the occurrence of the uh, of this technology um, if you have certain questions regarding this topic and regarding the brochure, I also gave you another contact uh, of uh, our institution here, Johannes Kohlmeier, as he is the special expert uh, when it comes to hydrogen technology. Um, our radar is called green hydrogen. I'm speaking of green hydrogen. Um, I guess this is may was maybe already dealt with in previous presentations, but just uh, two graphs out of the of the radar. Uh, we speak about gray hydrogen when the hydrogen is produced solely as from fossil uh, sources. This, of course, should and could, cannot be the future. Um, uh, as uh, in, in terms of a transition, the green transition of the energy system, the hydrogen has to, to be produced sustainable. Um, there's then the next step, which would be uh, blue hydrogen. This is the hydrogen, uh, which is also produced uh, potentially by fossil uh, sources, but if the CO2 is separated and stored and in that way not released to the atmosphere, so also incorporated carbon capture and storage technologies. And when we speak about green hydrogen, we mean solely hydrogen, which is uh, CO2 free, so produced out of electrolysis with renewable energy sources or, for example, also uh, of biogas or the like. And just to show it also here in this presentation, or um, um, why we also are doing this and why so much research is allocated now and so much attention is given to the topic. Uh, these are numbers from the uh, International Hydrogen Council, which shows that uh, from, from 2020 on, the demand for um, hydrogen will be increasing for 800% until 2050. And 
all the all the the the, the branches from the energy sector the transport the industry uh, all alike are growing you, you could say on the same pace and will be equally important but very important um which what could be really interesting for you uh, is um and another thing we um uh, uh, developed in this year, which is the Hydrogen Research Map Austria. And this Hydrogen Research Map is also available in English on our website. Uh, this map gives an orientation uh, which uh, research facility, whether it's a university or an extra university uh, research facility, is dealing with the topic of hydrogen. Uh, and also especially with, with, with which certain um, fields uh, of hydrogen research. So uh, if a cluster partner of ours, but also an international um, institution is searching for the right competence uh, for a research project or to work with, with, with um, research uh, on this field, you can find there the right cooperation partner. So this is uh, displayed on a map also shown with certain indicators how big is the institution um, also a little bit uh, giving that into reference with the european perspective so showing which uh, international um, institutions uh, are the most important in europe and in the further uh, pages of this uh, uh, hydrogen research map you find then detailed descriptions about each uh, research facility about their activities uh, their, their their staff their projects and also you can find then the the right contact uh which whom with whom you should talk uh in order to to get in contact um maybe also interesting there's also then listed which test infrastructure is available that can also be very important for companies uh doing research in this field um now i would like to show you two examples of hydrogen projects in austria uh, one is the so-called Verbund Innovation Hub in Mellach. This is in the south of Graz. Uh, Verbund is Austria's leading electricity company, and it is also one of the largest producers of hydropower and electricity, by the way. And this company uh, built a pilot plant uh, on the site of a former thermal power plant uh, in Mellach, uh, which can be operated in two ways, uh, as electrolyzer and also as a fuel cell. And it is integrated into the into the electricity, but also into the um, heat network. Uh, this is a very important uh, place uh, for the uh, production of heat for the uh, Graz um, district heating network, by the way. And with this hot flex power plant, uh, excess wind and solar, so renewable energy, uh, can be taken from the grid and is converted into hydrogen. This is done by high temperature electrolysis. And but also on the other way around with a fuel cell, this pilot plant can supply electricity and heat. I invite you to follow this link if you'd like to have more information. This is uh, there, it's an interesting article about this um, about this plant. This is a research project done by the Graz University uh, together with Verbund. It's also funded by the national funding agency FFG. And which is a very interesting symbolic thing about that, that this is an area where there was Austria's last uh, coal-fired uh, power station. And the coal-fired power station was removed and hydrogen research pilot plant was installed. So I would say, and for us symbolic, this is a very, very nice example. Uh, for the second example, um, I give you just an, uh, a glimpse at an Austrian, a very important Austrian research strategy. This is the Austrian innovation campaign, Vorzeige uh, Region Energie, in English, flagship region energy. Uh, this is a funded um, initiative by the Climate and Energy Fund, where three innovation laboratories were created uh, all over Austria uh, with the uh, which are initi initiating projects based on the challenging a challenge of transforming Austria energy system into the direction of 100% renewable energy. And it's very interesting, but somehow clear, hydrogen research projects are part of every of these flagship regions. And one of the three, the Viva PNG, is completely dedicated uh, to hydrogen research. And 
I thought this is interesting to know about our uh, research um, strategy in Austria. And one example of a project which is going on at the so-called um, Green Energy Lab, so one of these three regions, is the project Energy Cell Johan. This has nothing to do with me, as my name is also Johan. Uh, but uh, it's a newly developed seasonal energy uh, storage system. And uh, in this project, different use cases are uh, tested to answer R&D questions, uh, especially to, in, the, in regards to sustainability and to uh, market processes with the clear goal of making the solution uh, technology and market ready. Uh, this is a system uh, where renewable energy is transformed via an electrolyzer to um, uh, hydrogen and stored. Uh, the system has 90% efficiency. This comes due to the fact that the electricity um, uh, efficiency is 30 to 40%, but in the system also the excess heat is used uh, to power, for example, the heating or the warm water demand of a, a family house, for example, or it could be also another uh, building. Um, yeah, with the goal of making auto key and the use of renewable energy, so renewable energy auto key uh, possible. Uh, and a uh, special emphasis in this project is also given uh, to a research whether this system can be integrated in energy systems and support, for example, the security of supply. Uh, also, for this example, I invite you to um, check the link which I did give you in this presentation uh, that you can have more information. So thank you again for the invitation. Thanks that I was able to talk to you. I hope uh, 